What is going on all of you mushroom eating brothers out there in the world? I am Mega Amster. Thank you for watching this reaction video. Whether you are a new or returning viewer, I appreciate you stopping by real quick. And uh, yeah, I am very interested in Mario and Luigi Brothership. This is coming from someone who has never played Mario and Luigi, any of those games before. And I really wanted to jump in at some point because like from what I've seen from the gameplay of some other games and this game when it was revealed, uh, it looks interesting. It almost looks like a platforming adventure RPG, which is definitely interesting. I'm not the biggest RPG fan. I've started to get more into the Mario RPGs with the remakes of both Super Mario RPG and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door on Switch being released. And uh, this is I'm going three for three. I think it's time to jump into Mario and Luigi. It looks really cool. I'm not like overly excited just because I feel like I don't know a whole lot about the gameplay and like what the game looks like. But uh, Nintendo decided to answer that call and uploaded an overview trailer today as of this recording. And I figured, you know, it's five minutes, but might as well do a little reaction to it. And uh, maybe some of you, if whether you're newbies or fans in the comments below, can let me know what you think as well. But with that, let's jump into the trailer here in three, two, one, go. Let's see what we got. The game just visually, I love the art style. Out of all three RPGs, this, this art style definitely appeals to me the most. It just, I love how cartoony it is. The animations are super vibrant. Like the... Like, look at just in motion. This looks really, really good. Are those like almost quick time events? They almost look like quick time events. Very flashy. All right, Nintendo, fully sell me on this game. I have it pre-ordered, but like, let me be hyped for it. It's coming out in what? Just under a month now? Concordia. Okay, there was a trailer before that I did not react to or watch. Oh. Uh oh. Connie, a kind Connie. What up, Connie? And Snoutlet. Who is Snoutlet. Love it. A pig. No, definitely not. No way. New friends, Piggy and Bank, Luigi actually. Are ready to set sail. I'm mainly curious about the gameplay. That's the main thing I want to see. I'm already sold on the art style. Which looks like. Well, a ship. ship shape island oh that's funny kind of bringing back the uh the vast water. reminds me of the face ship from galaxy 2 a little bit and ah cool the and then you can Ooh. oh so you discover islands okay a with rain. Ooh. A just the cell shading looks An really good on this game Ooh. And magma and more. oh heat freeze uh-oh is that gonna be like uh what's the level in banjo tooie I don't need that back. At each location, you'll meet locals bursting with personality. Idol. And nice. Uh-oh. Socket. And his foul socket? The extension cord. I love it. And of course, ba of course Bowser's in this game. He has to be. Bowser and his minions are here too. We're taking over the world. They're like, what are you guys doing here? I'm just glad Martin Luigi's Mario getting out of shot. When was the last new game? Paper Jam? That was almost 10 years ago, wasn't it? 2016, maybe? Yeah, and the overworld exploration looks really good. Like, one thing about especially Mario, uh, Super Mario RPG, I didn't love the bro move. All right, I didn't love the overworld exploration of Super Mario RPG. Granted, it's like a 30-year-old game, right? Um, even Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, I didn't love, but this seems this seems like the closest to getting, like, Mario in terms of his movement and play style from, like, his actual games into an RPG. You know what I mean? They, they look so fluid and jumpy and, like... All sorts of different moves and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Plus, so you control both brothers at the same time, right? Is that how it works? Let me know, fans, in the comments below. You go, bro. Timing is everything, right? I love the timed. I love the timed actions in battle. That's one thing I'm gr I'm glad they keep between all of the RPGs for Mario. Yeah, that just look at how dynamic that looks. The frame rates. That's what, 30? That's It looks fine. You don't need a 60 frames game with this kind of game. Because they'll design the timing inputs to be, to accommodate the frame rate. The enemies, it, just, it looks unique and so vibrant. <laughs> that enemy's funny. It's like a shower fish. Battle plugs. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that seems unique to this game, right? Interesting. Like... Why is the plugs being a theme of this game is very interesting. Oh, 
Give it to me. I also love how much Luigi has like a spotlight in this game. I love to see them working together. It's not like it's not like Thousand Year Door where Luigi does his own adventures and we just assume he did them. Or Super Mario RPG where he's non-existent. Yeah, so the, some of the gameplay almost looks like quick time events in a way. I guess kind of like Thousand Year Door had moves like that too. It just looks so flashy. I love it. I almost was like, maybe I should just try out the NSO original on Game Boy Advance, but I don't know. This just seems like a good point to jump in and like support the new game. And hopefully if this game sells well, it, the Mario and Luigi will continue on into the future. When Alpha Dream shut down, we were all so worried, but Peach, Bowser, of course. Ooh, it is just looks so colorful. I mean, this just looks like such a joyful game. Is that a rhythm game? I love it. So, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, funny. Bowser Jr. too. What? I mean, for sure, Bowser's not going to be like the final boss, but there's no way. Yep, November 7th. Available November 7th. I am glad it's early on in November. There's too many games coming out, but that way I can actually get it in. Nice. And yet you can save with a voucher. Very nice. That was a fun little overview trailer. That was a really good overview trailer, actually. Um, I know I didn't react to the Mario Party Jamboree one. I'm just, I'm not a big Mario Party guy. I'm not going to get that. So definitely, I mean, this game looks really good. Um, visually, I mean, just the animations are super clean. Um, the just a very vibrant art style. This is a game that will not age. And I'm curious, Mario Luigi fans, let me know in the comments below. Are you upset by, you know, the game going full 3D? Because, of course, the previous games were all pixel art. However, I feel like it just, I feel like they did such a great job of translating that art style into 3D. It almost looks like, like a Mickey Mouse cartoon. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they did a really good job of translating that into 3D. So, honestly, I am, I mean, granted, I'm, I haven't played any of the previous games, but I am cool with this. Um, just the, the environments look super varied. Um, like I said, the gameplay was the one thing I was curious about, and it seems like overworld traversal. This might be my favorite overworld traversal out of any of the three Mario RPGs or those series from previously. I don't can I really call Mario Super Mario RPG a series? I guess not really. It's kind of just its own standalone thing. Um, and the timed battle mechanics look really, really cool. Um, they give you the button prompts, which is good. I wonder if after over time they just don't give you the button prompts. You have to remember. Add some challenge. I don't know. The plugs seem interesting. So that seems to be one of the unique mechanics about this game's battle system, right? Is introducing the plugs to do different types of effects on attacks. And the bros attacks seem like the special moves, which is really cool. Super flashy. Um, that looks like right out of Mario Strikers, which is really funny. Um, yeah, it seems like a very pleasant game. Looks great. The gameplay, I'm definitely the most curious about as someone who's not a big RPG fan. Like this, this series seems to appeal to me. So I'm willing to try it out, and if I really like it, maybe I'll get future games. Um, I'm at this moment. I think I'm going to do a full streaming series of this game because I don't imagine this game is going to be ridiculously long. Um, hopefully, and probably not as long as Thousand Year Door, I would imagine. But you know, maybe a solid like 25, 30 hours. I don't know, but like at least you know a, a good chunk of time. But I'm at least going to do a launch stream for this game. Probably multiple streams though. Just go three for three, right? Stream it, enjoy it with all of you if you're interested. But it's looking great. I'm definitely more excited for it after watching this trailer. And it's coming out, like I said, just just under a month as of this recording. So with that, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know whether you're a new fan or if you're an old returning fan in the comments below. Let me know, you know, what do you think? What do you think of the aesthetic? What do you think of the gameplay we're seeing? The different new mechanics being introduced here? Are you getting the game? Are you not? Let me know why. Otherwise, hey, I will catch you all in the next video or live stream. And it's great to see this series come back. You know, Nintendo supporting... Mario RPGs, it keeps on going. This is probably the final one for now, but hey, it's great to see them supporting that. Catch you all later.